Welcome back to another War and Order video. This is Dragothian here. We've got the mystery merchant ship here, and there's a really good way to do this. I, I've been kind of fumbling around with it a little bit. It's a great way to spend some of your gems inside the game. Bunch of different ways to get them. Obviously, spending is a little bit of a way to get it, but you've also got ways inside the game by using alliances, gifts to get some of that stuff. You've got ways to do it in the game through events and all that good stuff, but here we have the mystery merchant ship, and this is a great way to get 50, 60, 70, 80% off of all of these items on a six hour timer. You've also got the black market, which I'll show you how to use that as well. Um, this is more kind of cut and dry, the black market. You either pick to do it or you don't, but there is a method to the madness on warehouse where you've got mystery merchant ship giving you the best value possible. I wanna show you how to do that. Stay tuned. All right, so to get into the mystery merchant ship, it's this guy right here, this the ship in between the other ship at the top and your, uh, your materials crafting on the workshop to the right. So it's this guy right here in the middle. And you open up your mystery merchant ship and the warehouse pops up. There's a rage meter in the middle that goes from zero to 100 and it goes up in increments of 10 as you hit the negotiate button now when you hit the negotiate button you're starting a negotiation between you and that item on the rage meter now the way the rage meter is played out once you hit 100 you can't negotiate any further you've got to buy that item or you've got to buy an item to reset the, the rage meter down to, to zero or you can sit there and wait for the rage meter to go down. Eventually he'll forget all your bad negotiating skills, right? Let me show you a way though, where you don't have to wait. You can really take advantage of how the, the system here is structured so that you can get what you want quickly, efficiently, and then roll on to the next thing that you've got to do in this game. Cause there's so many things to do in war and order. So um, let's first start off with what items are available. We've got recruitment speed ups, two hours definitely want that same with the healing speed ups lord xp cards we can always use more of those the gathering bonus for one hour i will come back to that uh emblem fragment chest definitely want that we want as many emblems as we possibly can we want as many materials as we possibly can we want as many artifacts as we possibly can all those good things the titan crystals definitely worthwhile to get resources are a little expensive gem wise in my opinion we'll take a peek at that and see how high we can get the percentage off on it. But here's the trick. So what you want to do is you want to pick your highest gemmed item first. Okay. You want to try and get to the point where you're getting the maximum discount possible in that setup. So for me, the one that I want the most is probably going to be that emblem fragment chest. Yeah. The emblem fragment chest is going to be the one that costs the most to me on getting the discount the highest that I want it to be. And sometimes you can get it on the first or second negotiate. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. And you've got to do this little trick that I'm about to show you. So we hit the negotiate button on the emblem fragment that gave us 50% off right off the bat, which is actually pretty close to the highest you can get. The way you can tell the highest you can get discount wise is on the blue button where it says buy, it'll have a little sparkly outline around it. So let's try and see if we can get that. We hit that, see, there we go. There's 60% off. That means that this is the highest discount that you can get on this item. You can go ahead and hit buy or, or you can start doing another negotiation. So for instance, we have the recruitment speed here. Let's negotiate that. That's a 30%. We're still, we're still doing rage because we haven't bought anything. We haven't waited enough time, but you can see that even though I started another negotiation on another item, this is still highlighted at that 60% ready to buy. So if we go up to the top here, let's continue to negotiate. Still not at 60% yet. Let's go to, here we go. So now we're at 60% again. Don't buy it yet. Same thing with the healing speed up. Negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. We're at 80, almost 80 right now. Now we're at 60% off. Let's go ahead and buy the bottom one here, the emblem fragment chest. Now watch what happens with the rage meter it's back down to zero. So now we can continue to use the rage meter as efficiently as possible. Instead of using the rage meter per item, you can actually start using the rage meter 
per maximum discount, which is really, in my opinion, the way to go. Let's go ahead and start on the, let's see. Let's see what happens with the uh, Titan crystals here. So negotiate right off the bat. Looks like 50% off is the highest you can get on Titan crystals. Each item has its own maximum discount. That one's ready to buy though, and we're only at 10 raids. So let's go ahead and go to, let me try the iron crate. Maybe it's an 80 or 90% off, and that would be kind of making it worth it. So let's hit negotiate here. It's 60% off right off the bat, and it's not maxed. So that's a good sign. 90% off. Definitely worth it. Definitely. Okay, this makes it a lot more worth it. Like I said, the iron crate and um, any resources, the gem cost is really high. But if you can get that 90% off, absolutely worth it. We're very, very lucky right now, guys. Let's go ahead and get this Titan Crystal done as well and see if we can get that to 50% really quickly too. Okay, so you can see we're at 90%. Let's go ahead and buy one of these that resets our rage. Let's go ahead and see if we can get to 50% off on this second Titan Crystal here. Keep negotiating until you get it. And again, I've got one, two, three, four things ready to buy to reset my rage meter now. So I'm never going to be stuck where I'm at 90 or 100 rage on an item that I want and I can't keep negotiating to get what I want. This is the idea. This is the trick behind mystery merchant ship. So let's continue to hit Titan Crystal here, negotiate 50% off. There it is. Okay, so I've gotten everything that I want here. I definitely want the Lord XP as well. So let's go ahead and do these two. This will probably be a 50 or 60% off, maybe 60% off here. We're at 90 almost right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy the recruitment speed up to reset our rage meter. Go back down, get to the Lord XP cards. Let's get the 60% off here. We have the purchases available to get this done. As you can see, the Lord XP cards are taking a little bit of time. I got it though, 50 rage on that. Let's see if I can get to 60% on this Lord XP card setup. We're at 50 right now, 50, 30, see 50. So you can see how the, the, the happy face is now a sad face with glowing eyes. That's maximum rage. This mystery merchant is maximum tilted. He's triggered. But the cool thing is we can go ahead and buy this. And now he's back to zero. I'm happy. Look, we did a deal. Let's go ahead and negotiate some more. Now I'm not stuck at 50%. Now I can renegotiate again all the way to 60%. Let's keep negotiating. This one's being a little finicky, huh? Negotiate, negotiate. I want my 60% off. I have the ability to make this happen. There it is. Let's go ahead and buy that. And let's rock and roll. Here we go. Buy as well. We've gotten everything we want. We've gotten everything we want in the shop at the maximum discount that we wanted to get it at. The only thing that's left is this gather bonus. Now you can get this if you want to, it's 50. I mean, let's, let's just negotiate it and see what the maximum is. So 50% it's 25 gems to get a one hour gather bonus. It's, it's worthwhile. It's a 50% increase to gathering speed, which is very strong. One hour is not that long, but it's something, right? It's something to use for 25 gems. I think that's a fairly good deal, but what I would suggest, right? So in this method, right? If for some reason you got stuck and your first negotiation did not go the way you wanted it to, and it took you to 70 out of a hundred rage, right? So say our recruitment speed, when we first started this off, I hit negotiate, negotiate, negotiate seven times, and I did not get the maximum discount. What I would then do just to minimize my impact of the rage meter going to a hundred possibly is I would go down since this is the lowest item on the list here, the gather bonus one hour, I would start negotiating with this for the last three times. And if I got 30% off, 40% off, it would only be like 30 or 40 gems, 30 or 35 gems. Even I could buy that reset the rage meter, then go back up. Because if you miss 10%, 20%, 30% on these bigger items, that's 30 gems. That's 20 gems. That's 50 gems. If we were doing the, um, the emblem fragment chest. So that's a huge deal, um, to miss the 10%, the 20%, the 30% off on the emblem fragment chest. Whereas if you missed a 10, 20, 30% off on the gather bonus speed, 50, uh, 50 gems 
with a 10% or a 20% off, not that much that you're missing. So it's a better value to do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and get this just because it's maxed out and I want to buy it all. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it all. My, my shop is completely cleared out on the warehouse. This is one of my favorite modes because you get such a great value for the items in the game that you need. I need all this stuff. You need to be leveling up your Lord XP. You need to have as many speed ups as possible. You certainly need as many resources as possible. I'm getting to the point where I can start doing Colossus stuff. So I think I need one more level on my city hall and I am ready to rock and roll on my Colossus production. Now let's talk about black market really quick, just kind of as kind of an add in for the video. It's basically a, hey, you can order something on the black market. We're going to give you a discount, but it's not negotiable. It's not, it, there's no negotiation on this. So for instance, say I wanted, and I do, I want this two hour speed up and I want to order it. They're going to give me a flat discount. There's no negotiation. There's no way to do it. Now, if I wanted to just straight buy it right now, you would hit the blue buy button. And I think that is somewhat of a discount. I, I can't confirm that. But if you want a further discount or a the maximum discount, you got to hit the trade button. Now, if you look at the top above that, it says time needed 19 minutes and 28 seconds. That's how long it's going to take to generate your discount. OK, so they've got to go somewhere else, evidently, to get this at that price. So what we would do is we would hit trade. So it says need 175 gems time 1928. Hit confirm. Now you're basically generating. And as you can see, there's a number now on the um, ship that says 1920 and counting down that's you purchasing that item for the discounted rate now there is no way to speed this up you have to wait the time that it says 18 minutes 18 seconds left on what i've got going on now it does say here that you can do two orders on the black market each time with time required based on the item with the longer shipping time being the one that takes effect so if we go over to the black market there was one that said locked there i'm assuming that opened up whenever um when i hit the first one i can't remember if i saw that or not but there's tons of stuff here that i do want i will say the gold coins are fairly expensive but they're also fairly discounted i think it's around 50 percent um on the discount for the the conjuring artifacts for the gold coins ancient relic definitely want that um, same thing with the HP bonus and the recruitment speed two hours. I want that as well. And I think that the beast XP will be very nice, nice as well to get. So that's how you work the mystery merchant ship. I hope the tips have been helpful for you. Come back here next time to make sure you find out more tips and tricks on how to maximize your play in war and order. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Hit the like button if this was helpful for you and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.